Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how I deployed the Crypto Hopper market making bot to turn a quick profit in 12 hours. Now, I deployed this particular bot as a paper trading bot, seeming how it was the first time I had ever configured the market making bots. But I will tell you now, I will be deploying a live version of the bot in the very near future. So right now would be a good time to subscribe to be sure you get that updated video and all the other videos I'll be posting here in the near future. All right, so with that being said, if you're new to Crypto Hopper, you can click the link down below and get a free trial starter package through that link down below. But I will tell you in order to deploy the market making bot, you will need the hero subscription. And that is the subscription that I used and deployed and that actually gives you access to this market making automated trading bot. Now let's get to the actual numbers and the configuration of this particular bot. So the way the market making bot works is it's based on the spread between the ask and the bid price. And you can see right now SNX is the coin I actually was trading and the spread right now is 1.29 percent and that is the difference between these two prices you've got your ask and you got your bid so what you're looking to do is to for instance be able to buy at this price at the lower price obviously and sell at the higher price so you would bid the low price and you would ask when you sell the high price and that's how a market making bot would actually work and if we want to look at the performance of the bot and again i deployed it only for a 12 hour period and if i scroll down you can see i started the bot around 6 p.m and i saw results almost immediately because it was doing market maker buy orders and then sell orders and i also did a couple manual buys and manual sells now it doesn't calculate your profit on the manual sell it will only calculate the profit based off of when it does an actual buy and a sell and as i scroll back up you'll see where it was doing market maker buys and market maker sell there's two market maker buys which you want to be aware of and i'll touch on here in a moment and a sell market maker buy and a sell for profit and what i was looking for was real quick profits that's why i call this my shoot and loot strategy i'm just looking to get in and get right out now you got to be careful and make sure you cover your fee and on qcoin because i hold qcoin and pay fees with the qcoin my fee is 0.08 percent per trade so 0.08 to buy and 0.08 to sell which would equal a 0.16 percent fee and i want to cover that and again keep scrolling up and more market maker buys sells buys sells now these two gaps here i'm eventually going to actually have to sell one of them because it's only selling one of the two as it's making those buys and that is a result of not always getting a sell uh, after they bought due to the percentage gain is no longer available and so it no longer tries to sell this particular order uh, but as you see the whole way up it turns profit and the last batch of sales up here that you see are for orders that i ended up having to manually sell because the bot did not make a market match for the sell side now fortunately snx was moving up so all of these were in the profit which i'll show you now we can jump back over to the dashboard and we scroll down and you can see the stats for that 12 hour period it shows that i had a gain of 33 dollars or the equivalent of 1.68%. And again, I'm just shooting and looting. I'm taking very small profits. But in reality, I actually ended up selling that last batch of orders at the end before I closed out the bot. I actually started the bot with 2001 USDT and I ended with 2074. And that's because I, those last orders were sold out of profit and I ended up making 3.61% 
in that 12 hour period. So my profit actually ended up being around $73 during that 12 hour period. And you do also need to start with a balance of the coin you're actually going to be trading. Now, how did I select the coin? Well, in fairness, I trade this coin currently and I know the spread and I know the price action and part of the reason I only let this run for about 12 hours is I did for a good portion of that actually watch the level two and I have a pretty good idea of what direction something's going to move by just looking at the level two price action but there are other ways to figure this out you can jump over to Bittrex one of the exchanges and you can see they actually show you the spread on the different tokens that they offer and here's a perfect example digibyte has a 1.9 percent spread right now it's actually moving up in today's market which almost nothing is uh, this would be a good candidate for that particular bot if we look down a little more we see that adam 1.8 Another good candidate, however, it is trending down and that can be a little more tricky for that type of bot. Also, the other thing to consider is volume. You want to make sure if you do buy, you're able to get out. If there's no volume, you might be able to buy, but there's no volume for you to get out, which a lot of cases when you have big spreads that that can actually be the case that there's just not the volume to actually get out of the trade. Now, let's jump back over to my dashboard and I'll run you through my settings real quick that I had for this particular bot and if we jump up here to the basic settings I named it cool down period was 30 seconds most of this stuff's going to be the default since I had not configured one in the past the exchange you see I was doing paper trading but I had selected the QCoin exchange and you will when you go live need to populate your API keys and the passphrase now I since I already have this configured, I can actually just choose my actual bot that has all those keys plugged in. Uh, but it, again, I was paper trading at the time, so it didn't really apply to this particular bot. Notifications I had turned off in the beginning. I actually had it turned on, but because this trades so frequently, I was getting way too many emails. So I shut it off. Uh, market price. And this is where you're going to choose the actual pair you want to trade. And I was doing SNX versus USDT. And right here, they will show you what the current spread is. If I was to change this to say road, a different spread, you see it's, it's a 1% spread. And we could change this to, let's say vid. And now we're again around a 1% spread. Now today is a very volatile day. Market's crashing. And again, that volatility is great for market making opportunities. Let's look at XTZ. XTZ, not such a good opportunity. I won't even cover my fees with that spread. So you always want to make sure in your settings that you're covered. Now the next thing you could do is choose the market tre trend at the time the trend the market was actually moving sideways and towards the end it actually started into an uptrend. So I had selected neutral. Now today it's in a downtrend. So you would probably want to select downtrend. And then the order sequence was I wanted it to buy and then sell pretty much at the same time. Order position, I wanted it to be a percentage higher ask lower bid. And so my minimum spread I was looking for was 0.56, the 0.16 to cover the fees and the 0.4% as profit. Again, shoot and loot, fast, quick money. The order layers, I had just one layer and it was to buy 49 and at the time it was SNX and then sell 49. So it was buying and selling the same amount. And I wasn't trying to go higher or lower than the actual bid and ask. I wanted to do it pretty much at market. The idea is quick and fast. Auto cancel. I didn't have any of these set up. I will be exploring these options when I deploy the next bot live. So again, you might want to subscribe so you'll get that updated video. Stop loss. I did not have a stop loss turned on either. 
and revert to backlog again did not have that turn on I will be exploring those features the fact that I was actually for the most part watching this bot live I didn't actually feel the need to have auto cancel although I would have probably benefited from some of those features I didn't need the stop loss I was essentially the stop loss and same thing with the revert and backlog and with that being said that is how I was able to in 12 hours turn a real quick profit on this particular market making uh, automated bot now real quick we'll go ahead and set up a new bot and what you would do to set up a new bot is you would go to your hoppers page you can click on new and you're going to want to select market maker and create market maker and I will name it bit shoot loot and I'm going to do this one on Bittrex cool down period I'm going to stick with the 30 second cool down period in between market making buys and sells the exchange in this case I'm going to choose Bittrex and I need to put my API keys in so if you were using Bittrex you would go to account API keys and you would need to add a new key I already have my keys in place on crypto hopper so I can actually just select Bittrex and it will load those keys for me a notification I'm going to turn that off because quite honestly it trades so fast you're going to get a ton of emails so the market I want to trade is going to be DGB USD strategy I'm not selecting a strategy I don't have one configured at this time uh, I'm going to stick with neutral even though it's trending up because I had success with that in the past I wanted to buy and sell at the same time percent higher ask lower bid and because the fees on Bittrex are higher I'm going to need a bigger spread so I, with this particular bot I'm going to go with a 0 0.90 spread that I'm shooting for and for the order layer I'm just going to want run with one order layer and the buy amount will be 4,000 digibyte and 4,000 to sell I'm not going to ask higher or lower than the bids scroll back up here and go to the next tab at this point I'm not going to configure the auto cancel only cancel unfilled orders if you were to enable that it will cancel any market orders that have not been filled for example if a buy is filled and a corresponding sell is not then it won't cancel that sell which you don't want it to necessarily cancel that sell uh, do not cancel partially filled orders I actually do want it to cancel partially filled orders cancel after a period of time this would basically cancel the order after a certain amount of time that you tell it to cancel and cancel on trend change now that could be handy if since this is currently seems to be trending up if it were to start trending down that might be a good thing to start canceling orders again I'm not enabling any of these at this time that will be a future uh, configuration and future video stop loss will not be enabling a stop loss and revert backlog I will not be doing that so that's it that's all there is to configuring this basic settings is I named it cool down period exchange simple enough notifications and then the market price is really the big part you can scroll through all the different available markets and select the one you want based on the spread and see digibyte has a good spread right now it's 1.26 percent that would hit within my kill zone and buy at the same time I've put my minimum spread at 0.9 and for my order layer I'll be buying and selling 4,000 DGB and that's it so I'm gonna hit save and go over to the dashboard and I'll enable the hopper and now we've got the hopper enabled and before long we should start seeing some buys and I'll update y'all with a video 
on how this actually performs and that pretty much does it that is how simple this is to configure so to see that update video be sure to subscribe if you like the video spike a like if you have any questions or comments leave those down in the comments down below and until next time remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon we'll see you in the next video